Traders, let's talk about down days. Red days are gonna happen in a market, even in a bull market historically, but we have seen the dip get bought time and time again. Dip, 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 higher, 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 higher. Today, after selling off 60 plus handles in the S&P on Friday, here we are, up nearly 25 handles. Again, the dip is being bought, but, I know the feeling in real time when you see the Dow down 600, when you're watching all your positions lose money that are longs, it's hard. So there's a couple things you can do. Number one, know your main goal of the position. Is it a certain price target? Is it a certain price on an option? If that goal is still there, if the fundamentals or the technicals haven't changed, then stick with it. Again, historically, we've bounced back. A thing that I like to do so I don't have to stare at my computer and my charts all day. And I don't wanna be worried looking at my P&L down all day. So A, I'll minimize it, and then B, I'll put alerts on. Like for example, here's the S&P. I put two alerts on, I actually go to the five minute, put an alert, high of the day and the low of the day, or the open. Therefore, if we take out the high, chances are market's gonna scream higher. I know, I can look at my longs, see if any price targets have been met. If we take out the low of the day, then hey, sellers are coming in. Maybe I should adjust my positions accordingly if I think we're gonna to continue to sell off. Use the down red days for stocks that you like. Maybe you've been wanting to buy Facebook or Apple or Netflix, and now they're down two, 3% in a day. Hey, is it on your shopping list? Use the red days as opportunity days. You always hear of buying the dip, Take action when you can. Now, don't get me wrong. If you think the whole economy and the whole world's gonna collapse and doomsday is gonna happen, well then, hey, you don't have to participate. That's fine. I know traders and investors, some of you have that idea. Others who are very bullish and wanna continue to buy stocks, and we do have a red day, they don't pull the trigger. Instead, they're waiting for a day like today when the market's up 25 plus handles to buy. In my opinion, that's idiotic. Why not buy when the market's red? So let me know what you do during the sell-offs. Maybe you just go enjoy a game of golf or go out to lunch, or maybe you're aggressive and you're a buyer. Shoot me an email, lanceatthefuturewealth.com. Look forward to hearing from you.